Uh, what I'm saying is that he will ask more money for that. I'm not surprised your prices go up by about 8% on every project. Your inflation on prices is like 25% a year. <laughs> okay, so it's been a week since we were here last. Uh, the guys have been here just under that. Uh, let's go see how they're getting on. Michael Road, yeah, this is going to be down. This will have to have a fire door on. Michael Road is a different area. Yeah, this is the front door. Yeah. And this is a fire door. That bedroom is escaping that way. That's got a fire door on. He, everyone <laughs> upstairs as well can just escape out there. So be careful, Dan. That's, something's dripping there. Just got me a couple of times. Dripping, but that's long. Oh, and then Paul can flew through that gap oh, there. No, all that. All the old doors are off. Most of the kitchen is out. These pokey walls that sort of made up the mishmash of the utility room, the downstairs toilet, and what was effectively another shower, which didn't work, have all been ripped out. I think it's opened up the space massively. And because of that, I think it's probably best to go back to the original plan, which was to move the kitchen into this space. We said that we were gonna leave it, I think last week in the, uh, where the current kitchen is. But I think if we can make the units work in terms of the numbers that we need for the minimum for a five bed HMO, um, with the dishwasher, with the washing machine, with the fridge freezer, then I think it's best to move the kitchen. That gives us a much bigger communal living area where we put the sofas. But you can see, yeah, the guys ripped out all the old toilet. I'm sure this was done within a few days. All the cleaners will get the electrician to move the uh, fuse box and the meter up so we can hide it within the kitchen cupboard and then what is the gas meter that will be hidden by a plate corner unit and then we'll have our entrance just there for bedroom five so the guys haven't done too much in here because we've been waiting for these sofas to be collected but like good old marketplace fashion we keep getting twisted and messed around so what exactly. yeah, what is that space there? exactly there 2150 should we double? Oh, all right, yeah, let's check. check. So, how wide are the en suites again? Oh. Another thousand before. I can get a smaller quadrant. Oh, no. I can get 760s. Yes. That, that can't be 2.1, Aussie, then. That's longer than that. That's not 2.1. That's what I said to you, is a 2.1. No, that was 3 something. <laughs> Look, Dan's recording. We can bloody read, watch it back now. You said 2.1. Oh. Um, so, we just had a conversation about room sizes. Now, to try and set ourselves up for a another battle that we don't need to have but gonna move this wall so the idea was actually to keep this wall up and use it to parallel with another wall to create our two on suites but this room excluding what will be the alcove for the uh, wardrobe space doesn't quite meet the minimum room sizes when you deduct the space needed for opening doors but by moving this wall 200 mil that way both these rooms are fully compliant. Deducting the space for doors can exclude little areas like that alcove. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to move this wall. How much did you get for that copper, Steve? Are we going half on it? That's not going to rip the rest of the room. It's something more. Is it? 6'2. This ain't going to be enough. What about it? Because this is a big one, we're not putting the wardrobe there. We did like all the one, we put the water in this. Yeah, we are just can't. Not really, they, they'll argue that. So we need to try and get it without that space. So in the first video, I talked about the drains and uh, now this has all been opened up, you can see what I'm on about. So historically, for the upstairs en suite, which is at the front of the house, that's always been the difficult sort of bad sister of the project. Where do we get the drainage? When you're on an end terrace, like we were on the previous project, it's easy, you can just go straight out the, the wall. When you're in a mid with a passage, it's a little bit more tricky. So what we've done historically is we've gone out the front of the building and run out round and through the passage, which is acceptable, just doesn't look very good. But a few years ago, we discovered that in uh, the space where the gas pipes were for the old back boiler, if we ripped all of that out, we could drop down into this space, into the floor, into our new drains for these en suites, which will then run out outside and connect onto the main drains. and. You can see it's all been knocked through, ready to start. You need 850 from that skirt, mate. What skirt? Uh, 860. If I can get 700, that would be even better, wouldn't it? No, you don't get 700. Come on, uh, 650. So if we can get a 550, that's an idea. We put the quote there. There's a four-bedded turn. Not over here. Yeah. 
that between here two and four inches. So this door will make a zero to a twelve. Because what they're saying is you can't put like a set of drawers in front of that wall because it's the door. Right? Well, so the this room will access the ensuite yeah, in the room, and yeah. the and the two doors occupy the same space. Yes. Brilliant. So what we're talking about is the, the ensuite for this bedroom. Now we've done it a couple of times where he has to come out of his bedroom to go in, but the, on the other one we managed to squeeze it in so the ensuite was accessible from the bedroom. The problem is, is when you have a door space that takes about 0.25 square meters away from the room size from a compliance point of view. So what we were trying to figure out is getting the door swinging to enter the room and the door swinging to get into the ensuite occupy the same space. Now normally in a family home that's a problem because if someone leaves a door open or opens it while someone else, the doors clash. But when it's one person, it should be fine. What we were just talking about is ideally where we would start this wall runs for the whole ensuite would land on an existing joist but it doesn't give us the right amount of space between that and the start of the stairs because the minimum hallway space has to be at least the width of the stair, it's just under. So we're gonna to have to move it in slightly, which is fine for the bathroom, but for what we've got to do, we're gonna to have to put a noggin in underneath the floorboards every 400, which is a build and regs requirement. So last time we were here, bathrooms, existing, it's all been ripped out, and this is where we're boiling it up because the ensuite of the small bedroom is gonna land about here, and then we'll knock through here, a new doorway and this old bathroom will be the biggest bathroom for one of the biggest bedrooms as is en suite. Yeah see last time we were here there was a cupboard which I said where we put the en suite and we had if you remember the gas pipes that's all come out and you can see now the hole um, which will take the waste out for the, the toilet down into that gap that we've created next to the old gas back boiler where the fireplace was. Just talking to one of my guys about doing this slightly differently. So normally we have the door here to en enter, but uh, to get into the ensuite, but we're gonna put it here and then create a new wall space here, which will then just have a bit more workable space to put drawers, wardrobes, or desks. I was thinking, is that a rip off? Oh, and that whole thing will come down. That won't come down. Because he, uh, what I'm saying is that he will ask more money for that. He have to all send it down and everything, and he'll do it. Why I mean he will ask me? If you can take it off, take it off. Because when you just hear, reposition the number like above the door or on the thing. When you hear the next right, you say take off, throw it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised your prices go up by about eight percent on every project. Oh, Infla yeah. Your inflation on prices is like twenty-five percent a year. No <laughs> cool. So uh, just finished the walk around first week. Really happy with the progress. Guys are smashing it. Uh, just discussed moving the kitchen back into the original plan which is at the back now we've taken those walls down we've definitely got enough space just talking about some of the room sizes and getting the new stud walls exactly right so we don't have any gray areas and then we just had to get the ensuite for the smallest bedroom completely nailed where that wall's going to go just so we stay completely compliant but overall things are looking really good